I've been waiting for more people to speak out who I admire and respect and have looked up to in my life, and I'm tired of people letting me down. And you are too, and uh, hello everyone, I'm Queen Mecca, the one, the one with the riding crop. The with the riding crop and the jiggle tops. You're not gonna stop me, you're not gonna knock me down, you're not gonna wipe my, my Teespring store out, you're not gonna do anything. If you come for me, I'm going to stand there and I'm going to say something. And I'm gonna speak up and I'm gonna use everything I can to my advantage. I'm going to speak out against censorship. I'm going to speak out against cancel culture. I'm going to speak out against the woke mobs. Because I'm rebellious. And I've been like that my whole entire life. And there's a lot of people I've looked up to my whole entire life. And in the past couple of years where pretty much everybody you've looked up to, they let you down. They, they get politically obsessed. They jump on board with cancel culture. They forget that... They themselves, and I see this a lot with the Star Trek actors, there's a reason why I didn't really look up to the Star Trek actors, and I always admired musicians. We're gonna, you see the thumbnail, you'll see the thumbnail once this is live. We are in the middle of a live stream talking about this. Some people, some people have really crappy let me down by jumping on board the cancel happy shit. Some people have really let me down by being wokier than thou, by being bent on this religious zealotry to try and prove that they're morally superior to everybody, but some people, some people fucking get it, and holy shit, this is the one person I needed to fucking... As somebody who's influenced my musical tastes, styles, she probably shaped the way I think in a lot of ways. Somebody I've been listening to since I was probably like nine years old. Somebody I've had... <laughs> I'm gonna cry, I've been crying on this stream, I'm gonna cry. Finally, we have some people speaking up, and I don't care what you think, and I don't care what you want to cancel them for, for whatever. This is what I needed to hear, and this is what we need. We need more people who we've admired, more people saying stuff like this. The Misfits couldn't cancel today due to cancel culture. Oh, it was even more than that. And woke bullshit. That's all I needed to hear. Woke isn't punk. Woke isn't metal. These new wokier than thous think that they're so punk rock doing everything that the establishment says. Raging on behalf of the machine is gonna fucking change the world. No, it's not. No, it's not, because remember, remember it used to be rage against the machine, not rage on behalf of. As as the wonderful, lovely Tim Pool always says. <sighs> so now we got Glenn Danzig. Somebody, you you know me, you know me. I'm a bit of a punk rocker. I'm a bit of an old school punk. Oh yeah, yeah, we still got the Misfits posters back there. Still got one right there on my wall that I've had since I was 15 years old. I go back with a lot of this stuff. These are core values against censorship, against this bullshit, against the PMRC, against the religious zealotry that wants to try and ruin your life, against these witch-burning sort of people that are out there. And now these people are out there writing and damaging things Thinking that they're thinking that they're against what? What are you against? You're you're going alongside what every freaking name brand big box retailer studio establishment franchise everybody says. There's a reason why that brand meme is so prevalent that I'll overlay when I edit this. We at Brand are committed to fighting injustice by posting images to Twitter that express our commitment to fighting injustice. We hope this action encourages you to view Brand positively without, you know, expecting anything from us. How do you know if you're if you're punk rock or an SJW? We have a test. How to spot an SJW? SJWs or social justice warriors are everywhere these days. As such, it might be easy to confuse them with punk rockers. In this instructional video, we will provide you with easy to follow tips on how to identify SJWs in your community. So you might be asking, how will I know what to look for? If you suspect you've encountered one, here are some easy to follow simple rules. If they have dyed hair, glasses, a laid-back attitude, and a Ramones t-shirt, then you have a punk rocker. But if they have blue hair, duck lips, thick glasses, uptight attitude, a t-shirt that reads, meat is murder, and bangs, and if they think by rioting in the name of every big box store and big tech corporation in America is punk rock, well, they're a wokeier than thou social justice warrior, fighting for whatever the people at Brand Corporation say. If they're screaming about representation and are white with blonde hair, then you've got an SJW or social justice warrior. 
If they say, I love The Last Jedi's diversity, then you've probably got an employee of the Lucasfilm Story Group. If they're on Twitter more hours than they sleep per day, then you've got a social justice warrior. And finally, if someone is dressed like a lumberjack but lives 100 miles from the nearest tree, then chances are you have a writer for the latest Marvel comic, if they're still a thing by the time this video is out. Remember, nobody likes social justice warriors. Now, with these simple tips, you can help identify and avoid social justice warriors in your community. Why do corporations do this? I think it's for marketing. I think it's easier to shuffle people into a category rather than, I don't know, making something good because then they don't have to pay anybody anything. They can hire these woke Tumblr ar artists for their Marvel comics instead of getting, you know, somebody good or DC or somebody instead of getting somebody who can draw. You're left with these people and these comic characters that are just all about their identity and the, their gender. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. I don't care what your gender is unless I'm seeing you burying your face in between the legs of another person. And that's not going to happen in Marvel Comics. Because last time I checked, well, maybe it will now. Maybe it will. Can I just work at a job without being indoctrinated to something? That's the thing. We've got all these corporations that have all of their, their diversity stuff that just sound like indoctrinations into cults nobody goes around trying to be istophobes all right we don't and these brands that control everything and these corporations that use this for marketing are only using this to what dumb down the audience just so they'll accept whatever so they can market it at a high price to you at a low cost to them that's what they're doing what does he say what does he say never wants to mince words glenn danzig has shared some thoughts on cancel culture and a new interview with Rolling Stone that mostly focuses on his upcoming horror western flick. He's plugging his his new horror western flick, Death Rider in the House of Vampires. See, that's probably cool. The Misfits Frat Man revealed that he doesn't think controversial punk bands such as his own would be able to flourish today because of woke bullshit. The passage arrives towards the end of a lengthy Q&A. Are you trying to throw him under the bus because of it? Because this is just going to make us love him even more. This is just going to make us love him even more. Do you understand that? We need heroes who don't put up with this crap. We need heroes that are for us and everybody and not just telling you that you're wrong because you were born. And that's what this woke bullshit is. It's just crazy ass songs. We would do things just to piss people off. That's what punk is. You do things to, pu to piss people off. It's like, fuck everybody. Fuck this bullshit. It was something else. During his moment of reflection on punk's trollish attitude, during the 80s, that the polarizing C word came up. I don't think people will ever see anything like it again. There won't be any new bands coming out like that. Now, they will immediately get cancelled. Asked to clarify what he meant, Danza continued, People don't understand because everything's so cancel culture woke bullshit nowadays. But you could never have that punk explosion now, nowadays because of cancel culture and woke bullshit. You could never have it. It would never have happened. That's true. You can't even do... Well, we kind of are, though. We kind of are. But you're not going to have it in the same way. We're having it in independent comic books. We're having it on independent YouTube channels. We're having this, this new backlash culture of, of people who are like, we're tired of getting the backlash, and we're going to give it right back. We're tired of this shit. We're tired of being canceled, so we're going to go make our own stuff. And then they try and cancel that. And every time they do, it makes us stronger. Look what I did with my Teespring store. Long story, long story short, I kind of neglect my Teespring store. I don't really do a lot with it. And if you use promo code SPRING right now and order anything, we got new merch. Because somebody complained and said, oh, this could be copywritten. This is a parody of a copywritten thing. Even though a school bus isn't exactly Star Trek now, is it? No, it's not. But some little woke bullshit motherfucker went out there and decided to attack the channel. So what did we do? We said, we're not gonna take it. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna design three more t-shirts and we're gonna sell more t-shirts than we ever have in the entire time I've had it because now the fact that you have decided I can't have it and you wanna take that away from me. Screw you people, I'm gonna use it and I'm going to make it better and we're gonna be more offensive and more ridiculous and we're gonna meme more and we're gonna have fun because that is what the point of life is. And I am tired of these woke people telling us we can't have fun. Why are they the vice cops all of a sudden? For people who are so damn, damn hell-bent on defunding the police, they certainly act like the police by going around telling everybody what they can and can't do, can and can't say, can and can't think, to the point where we're self-censoring. We're removing our thoughts. 
We are, we are so beaten down and we are so destroyed as a society. We are so destroyed as a society. We don't even want to watch the fucking Oscars. We don't even want to go to the movies anymore. Because what's going to happen? We're going to go to the movies and we're going to be told why we're bad and we need to feel bad. And that this issue, there's issues, issues, issues. And then we turn on, we turn on the award show. And issues, issues, issues. We turn on sports ball. Issues, issues, issues. We go to comic books. Issues, issues, issues. Every five seconds. It's this problem. It's problematic, problematic. And we're tired of it. We need a place to go to get away from all this crap. And we need more people speaking up. And I am so honored to, to hear people who I have admired in my, in my existence. Just calling it what it is. It is woke bullshit. We don't want it. We don't like it. We don't need it. And, and we want something that we can have fun with. We want something we can aspire to become. We want something to rest our minds because issues, issues, issues all the time, 24-7 is going to drive everybody nuts and nobody is going to actually want to fix anything if they're being forced to. Do you understand me? I'm going back to my live chat. Buy my teas for my Teespring store. We have stickers, tank tops. I am not going anywhere just yet. And don't you guys go anywhere either. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! Call me a killjoy, but I think that because this is not to my taste, no one else should be able to enjoy it.